Okay, now in the last video, I used the interactive environment to create a sheep shearing activity. So today using the new interacting type, I'm gonna add some more behaviors to our sheep. So to start, I'm going to clone the sheep we used last time. So just hit clone and then control click the sheep in the world and then change the type to interacting. And if I give it the same name, I can use the shears on this sheep, even though it's not a living, and I can still produce wool. So you can layer interacting environments and interacting objects to create multi-layered NPCs. So I'm just gonna control C, copy, and then in the second cell, control V, to paste. And then I'm gonna hit M to mirror. Now if I saved the object like this, when it rotated, or when it flipped, there would be a, a wide gap, and it wouldn't look very good. So I'm gonna use control and the left arrow to align the two cells. So now when it flips, it'll be much more even, and there won't be any gap between the two cells. So now if you clicked, if this is your first time, if you click the question mark button, it'll show a list of commands that you can use with the interacting object. So there's three properties I wanna give this sheep. I'm going to use C's, pet or petting, love. So this way, if a player tries to pet the sheep, the sheep will produce a love effect. Gets crop. Gives plop. And then sees nibble or nibbling. Gives meat. So this is just some very basic programming behaviors for the sheep. But now I actually have to have the objects in the sheep's inventory so it can produce the effects that I want to see in the world. So I'm just going to start by saving the sheep. Now if I put him in the world, he's not going to do very much. If I try to pet him, there won't be any effect. So let's, let's add these items to our sheep's inventory. So I'm going to hit change. And this is the motion screen. This is similar to body motion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sheep's expression. Just give it a s change the eyes so it has a happy face. And then I'm going to draw a heart overhead. Okay, and now I'm going to add just some light shading to make it pop. Okay, so that's good. Now, stops and zigzag and then replace so that's going to if I reopen the editor and I click this button with the three squares and then I just click that it will now have this behavior but I forgot to give it the proper name so I'm gonna have to Resave re this as love because I coded it as love. Okay, there we go. Just delete the old one. Reopen the object to edit it. There we go. 
So now the new version. As you can see, it's very happy. So we have to add the items we want to produce the other behaviors. So I need a plop and I need a crop. So for now, it needs to be a holdable item. You could also do I believe a mount and a wearable, but I haven't tested those yet. So we'll start with a holdable. So just a basic crop to feed our sheep. So sheep like to eat grass. So I'll draw a green leafy vegetable. That looks like something a sheep would eat. And again, I'm just going to use three colors to add some shading to make it pop so it's not quite so flat. So this is a little too light. I'm going to make that color darker. There we go. So there's our crop. Now we just need some plop. three colors. I can be a little lighter. And this will be some nice fertilizer if I ever decide to make a garden. Okay, so now I have to add that to the sheep's inventory as well. Just click it. Now I think I have all the items to correspond with the behaviors. Meat. Okay, I forgot to make meat. So I'll save it. And I'll just delete these older versions so I don't have to clutter my inventory. And I'm going to change it from an item to a consumable so the character can eat it after they receive it. All right, meat, and I'm not exactly sure what sheep meat looks like in real life, but thankfully this isn't real life, it's a video game, so I can make it kind of look however I want. And then let's make it, it's a good gross color for meat. Add some marbling, and then maybe a nice bone in the middle. I don't really like the way that looks. Maybe like that. Okay, that's okay. And then I'll add just a darker red for the other border. Okay, so that's, that's pretty good for now. I can always re redraw this and just make an updated version of the sheep as well. I'm not going to spend too much time being a perfectionist. Okay. Just click it, add it to the inventory, save the new copy, delete the old one. All right, so now we'll go through the list of commands. If I pet it, happy sheep. If I nibble it, I have a piece of meat. 
And if I hit space, my character will actually eat it because I gave it the edible property. So now I'm gonna just click the crop to equip it, stand over the sheep, hit space, and in exchange for some leafy greens, I have a nice piece of fertilizer. And just to show once more, if I equip these shears, come over to our new sheep that is interacting, it should give me wool. Just like that. So now I have a much more alive version of my sheep than I did before because the old one is just a living and this new one is more of an NPC so using the interacting type I could even give it more behaviors and if I wanted to I could even draw motions for my character for pet and nibble so just to demonstrate I'll do one quickly so if I go to body and hit change now I'm in the motion screen for my character. So let's do kind of a silly one for bite. I'm just gonna control C. And I'm just going to go down one and bring the feet up to give the appearance that my character is hunched down. And I'm going to move up the hands as well. And the eyedropper tool is just control click. If I control click within the window or in the world, the, the game world itself, I can change the color that the cursor is on. So now it's a little hunched down. If I erase that. And I'm gonna add some teeth to really take a bite out of the sheep. So the properties I will give it are replace. And I wonder if I can make it loop, I don't know. If I hit long, I think it will. Okay, so this is nibble. And if I hit down on my character, that's my personal motion inventory. And if I go up to my sheep and hit nibble, as you can see, there's a new graphic for my character biting the sheep and I get the piece of meat. And if I hit space, I will eat it. And I equip the shears because I hit space too close to the equipment pile. And if I wanted to, I could make a new motion for the pet action as well. So there you have it. That's how you make a very simple interactive animal. And you can layer it with the interactive environment to have even more options with your creations. I hope this tutorial helped and I'm looking forward to seeing more animals in the game world soon.